Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be checking out the Costco in Auckland. Now for my um, US and UK viewers, you're probably really familiar with Costco. I've never been to one before, even when I lived in the UK. So it'll be kind of a new experience for me. But it's the only one that we've got in New Zealand and it opened, I think, sometime last year. But it's been crazy busy with people going and I've been trying to avoid when it's been really, really busy. So we'll see how we go, but I'm going to head over there now. If you guys are familiar with Costco um, and from the US and the UK, if you wanted to comment below on what you guys think in comparison to kind of this video for New Zealand, I'll be quite curious to see the price differences and if you think it's anything like what you experience over in your country. Um, as I've never been to any of them, this is completely new. But if you're new to my channel and you wanted to subscribe, just click the subscribe button below. And if you like the video, that would be great. So I'm going to head off now before it gets dark. Oh my God, I've just literally got my card walked in and it is just packed with like supersized everything. <laughs> I mean, even the trolley, I, I literally can't even manoeuvre. It's gigantic. It's actually bigger than me, which is, yeah, a bit random. So it's definitely quieter coming in the evenings for sure. I tried to come a couple of weeks ago and it was absolutely crammed. I couldn't even get on the car park. So, um, and actually I didn't have to queue to get my membership card, which is like $60 for the year for an individual. And I think it's like $55 for a business. But, oh my God, like it's literally, floor to ceiling of stuff. Oh my god, look, fruit snacks. Oh my god, I can't even lift up the, the box. Oh, Belgian chocolate crispers, vanilla flavoured. So these are $24.99. Hershey's. So there's definitely American brands here for sure. I doubt there'll be many British brands. Jumbo marshmallows. Oh my good grief. $8.49. Salted caramels. Belgian chocolate. So this is chocolate chip premium brownie mix 3.4 kilograms it says it's a six pack I'm not quite sure how much it is again it's super size ah it's $31.99 I guess that's good for a, a six pack it does look quite nice though And then you've got tubs of pure New Zealand honey, which is three kilograms, and that's $32.99. That's actually not too bad because honey is really expensive in New Zealand, and obviously we do manuka honey. I've got a video I'll link in the card in the corner in the description bar below of a honey work lab that I checked out about a year or so ago. But that's not too bad. They've also got airborne manuka honey, and that's one kilogram, and that's twelve eighty-nine. Which, yeah, that's actually not that bad. I've just bought some more honey because I use my make my own granola, and I have honey in it. So maybe I'll maybe I'll get that next time because that's actually not too bad for twelve dollars eighty-nine. I don't know if I'd need a whole tub of honey there, that's quite large. Oh, they do pistachio cream, that's really good. I actually got mine from the UK via Amazon. So that's $17.99, that's actually not that bad. 600 grams. Gosh, I'm quite tempted to get that. I quite like this on croissants and biscuits and things. But um, for 600 grams, it's saying it's $17.99. Yeah, I might get that. And there's also peanut butter. 
Pix Peanut Butter is like a Kiwi brand, it's quite popular here. And then there's obviously Skippy, Creamy Peanut Butter. And they're $12.99. But I don't really like peanut butter, so I don't think I'll get peanut butter. Don't use it that much unless I'm baking. But not too bad for $12.99, I think. So they've got Oreo, eight pack of 128 for $11. 99. That doesn't seem too bad. We've got cookies, we've got two kilograms. Like this is not the place to come if you're on a diet, I feel. Like <laughs> just a small thing of fig spread. And then there's also Vegemite, which is again popular this end of the world. I mean, seriously, <laughs> cookie bucket or bin even for $24.99. Chopped chip, peanut butter, shortbread, 1.5 kg. Jeez, if you want a bucket. Looks like they've got biscuits as well, Danish biscuits for $29.99. Massive Danish butter cookies, but that's heavy, really heavy. Ooh, salted egg yolk cookies. Taiwan native flavour. Oh, with a rich egg flavour. Never heard of those. Don't know if that really appeals. And then you can get it's to be maple syrup, organic maple syrup from Canada, one litre. And that is $18.99. Okay, so we're coming to the bakery section, which is kind of dangerous. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I really want to get some cookies or croissants, but oh, the temptation, oh my god, this, oh my god, there's so many muffins and cakes, okay, let's calm down, just calm down, let's see what we've got. So they've got these cute little mini pano chocolates, $11.99, 16 pack. Various loaves, three loaves, blueberry dot chocolate and sultana for like $14, which again isn't that bad. Rosemary and sea salt for catcher. oh my god that looks amazing, it's only $9.99. do really like for catcher. but um, my stomach would not thank me for eating the focaccia. <laughs> so these are the croissants. I've seen a lot of people have these in their trolleys. So $13 for a 12 pack of croissants. Butter croissants, which I don't think is that bad actually. It's pretty reasonable. And you've got chocolate chip cookies, $12. Oh, these look nice. Lemon shortbread cookies, 40, 40 pack for $11.99. Oh, good Lord. And then you've got a whole section on like muffins, but they're not just like little muffins. They're like super, super size muffins. Well, for what we're used to anyway. Butter pound muffins. I'm not sure what a butter pound muffin is. And they've got double chocolate muffin pack. This would be really good as like a celebration. You could kind of buy so many things. It's like $13. Okay, now this looks delicious. Loaded brownie with dodger leche and ganache. Oh, lordy lord. 
Look at that bad boy. Oh my God, that's tempting. God, it smells good as well. Okay, walk away from the brownie, Joss. Walk away from the brownie. So this is the food court. It's not a massive amount of selection, but I've heard the hot dogs are quite popular. And I think for $1.99 with a soda, which is a refill, is actually really good. Korean style chicken wings, $9.99. Southern fried chicken burger. Burger combo for $10.99. Slices of pizza. Ooh, mango smoothie. And you can kind of see the food here. And then you've got this section where you can kind of sit out in. It's not a massive section. Oh, they've also got a tire centre to get your tires. That's really random. And then you can see in the corner here, this is where you get your membership. So when you come to um, Costco, you need to get your membership card first show your um, ID and your proof of address and then you can then get into the store because they do actually like check you before you come in. Ooh, citrus and ginger honey tea. Oh god that's heavy. Two kilograms. That looks kind of nice. And that's $18.99. Honey red ginseng. Yeah, that looks quite nice. A bit expensive though, $29.99. Ooh, Yorkshire tea. Any of my British um, UK followers? Oh gosh, a big pack. So this is $21.99 for a four pack of 220 gram boxes. If you like Yorkshire tea. Ceylon tea. Nescafe coffee, all sorts. So we've got a lot of cheese. So this is looks to be $13.49. Edam, mild and creamy, tasty cheese. Monterey Jack cheese. And we've got cheddar cheese. Not too bad, Parmesan for $13.49. Oh my god, look how big these tempura onion rings are. <laughs> oh my god, ginormous. That won't actually fit in my freezer. So they've got cauliflower gnocchi, vegan friendly, $15.99. cauliflower oh my god this is the cake aisle butterscotch pecan caramel slice oh cute marshmallows oh they're really sweet $34.99 don't know if I'd spend $35 though to be honest, maybe if it was a special occasion. They do look really yummy though. Waffles, bacon and egg pie, family size. Waffles are $16.99. Pasta, pumpkin, roasted onion ravioli for $17.99. Mini falafel. Lobster and prawn ravioli for $27.99. There's quite a few pasta selections. Goat cheese, caramelized onion. So this is like the deli section. What chicken empanadas for $27.29. Caesar salad, $19.14. We've got wings. Oh, a pre 
wooden sandwich platters for $35.84. If you guys like cheeses, this is the cheese section. So we've got blue cheese, huge brie, Red Leicester, which is where I'm from, vintage Red Leicester. That's $12.99, that's actually not too bad. Classic cheddar cheese with truffle made in Great Britain. I don't know how much that is. Oh, it's $15.99. I don't think that's that bad. Cheddar cheese with truffle. I might give that a try. 400 grams. Cheddar cheese combined with truffles to create an Italian inspired cheese. I think I will put this in my extremely large trolley. Also got my Fortner Mason reusable bag that I'll use for today. But as you can see, I've not really filled the trolley with much at all. <laughs> so two very small items so far. Then on this side, it looks like there's a difference of kind of halloumis, lots of fetters. Mozzarella. Looks like you can get mini marinated octopus for $23.99. Anchovies. Oh, lots of octopus. Cooked octopus. I quite like octopus actually, but I've never really cooked it myself. I've also got shellfish, previously frozen whole cooked crabs for looks to be about $60. Snow crab as well, $31. Ooh, oysters, uh, sorry not oysters, um, scallops, $33. Previously frozen raw whole crab. So they've got tuna, some other fish, yellow belly flounder, snapper, mullet. For $19.41, that doesn't seem that bad actually. I love the way they've got the fruit right next to the bakery. Like, who who is wandering around the fruit section when there's loads of king size muffins? It makes me laugh. Doesn't seem to be as popular, be surprisingly. So let's look at the other kind of sections they've got. I'm completely lost. I've, I've got lost so many times. I was going to be going up all the aisles, but yeah, I'm <laughs> just wandering up and down them. So it looks like they have like washing machines. Got was it air air hockey sports table just there. And then we've got kind of tents at the top if you can, can see. Don't need a tent or a washing machine. But it's good that they're all here actually. If you needed any it's all kind of one stop shop. Oh, you can buy beds. Literally, there's a bed in the middle of the section. <laughs> Don't need a bed either. <laughs> I love the way you can go and get like muffins, buy a bed, a gazebo, an air hockey table, buy some yogurt, and then like a sofa, like in the space of just like a few steps. <laughs> so random. Oh my god, I've been here so long. I've just realised it's actually about to close. So, um, yeah, I better find the tills. Gosh, okay, that went quick. So they close here, um, I think at like 8.30 in the evening, um, which it 
it's kind of just gone that actually so um, I think some days vary but I'll put details of Costco in the description bar below but yeah let me know if you guys um, have been to the Costco in New Zealand and what you thought and if you were equally as confused with the layout as I am um, and also what you guys think if you have done the US and the UK Costco's is this what it looks is this what the setup is and what it normally would look like and sell because I don't really know I've not got any really kind of reference point and I think there's a Costco in Australia as well I think but this is definitely the only one in New Zealand um, I guess they may do more but it's in Auckland but yeah thanks so much for watching um, if you like the video that'd be great comment below what you think and um, what you think of the Costco's that you've got near you if you've got any um, but yeah this is my first time even going to one anywhere <laughs> so um, yeah it's cool I mean everything's kind of massive um, which you'd expect but um, yeah there wasn't a huge amount I needed to do on this trip but I might come with um, some friends to see if they want anything as well and I think when you get your membership you can bring I think two adults with you on your card I think um, or at least maybe one so um, if you did come with someone or your sister or a family member they can maybe buy stuff as well on your card so yeah I need to quickly buy these items before it closes but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.